Hi. Hello. Welcome back to the apartment. Welcome back to the combined channel. Yeah. Um, gotta share the intro there. Uh, <laughs> Might as well. So we are here for another taste test video because, like, what else are we gonna do in our lives? <clears throat> um. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. No. You. Yep. Go ahead. Uh. To be fair, this is one that we've wanted to do for a little while. It's just they haven't really had a lot of flavors. So, uh, that's what we thought. Well, therefore, we <coughs> did it. And then it was all of a sudden, boom. So uh, we're trying fun popcorn flavors today. Yes. And like two other extras down on top? Yes. Oh, I did leave the other thing in the fridge. Go get it. Talk them through what's going on. Uh, so yeah, like Sarah said, we have fun popcorn flavors as well as two additional like fun flavored snacks that we're gonna try. Uh, so I just kind of have the pile next to me. Um, so we have Free Pebbles, which has been highly recommended by our friend Robbie. So if we don't like it, he'll probably end up with it. Um, that is the disclaimer that I always give for these videos um, because I know some people can be funny with it. We're not gonna waste anything if we don't like it. I forgot cups. <laughs> Sorry. If we don't like it, we will take it to church, or we will give it to Sarah's dad, or somebody will eat it, somebody will drink it. It will not go to waste. I guarantee it. Um, but yeah, so we have Reese's as well. Reese's popcorn. Twinkie. Oreo. Here's one of the non-popcorn snacks. These are Cinnabon jumbo snacks. Cinnamon sugar pretzels, which I believe also got a good review from Robbie. Mm. Ding dongs, which he was confused about. <laughs> Snicker and cinnamon toast crunch. Now, as you can see, some of these are smaller. That's because we got them at Dollar Tree. Um, they've had bigger ones. Like, they've had these flavors at Dollar Tree in the past, but they didn't have any today, so we just had to pick them up at Walmart. Um, now there are like three or four other flavors that we didn't pick up, um, just because we prioritized these ones. Um, this means that there could always be a part two one day. Yeah. Because I know there's a Sour Patch one floating about somewhere, but none of our stores had it right now. Yeah. Um, we also have this Kit Kat. It's a little melty because it's very, very hot in Pennsylvania today. It's like... It was in the real feel of 90s, yeah. high 80s for the actual temperature. So, like, it's very hot. <laughs> um, and it's hoodie. it's only it's only May when we're filming filming this. So, it's going to be a hot summer for sure. I think this is going up in June. <sighs> for Sarah. Yeah, I don't know I don't, it's going up Mine might be in June, too, actually. Um, but, yeah, so she found this. It's a chocolate frosted donut. So, I think it's going to be something like an eclair almost. Mm -hmm. And we also have... A prime. It's the last one that we could find. Uh, this is the last one that we have around us mm -hmm. for now. Um, I'm, I'm sure they've had other flavors in the past and they'll have more flavors in the future. But for now, this is the only flavor that we haven't gotten to try yet because it's not been in stock since we've been trying them. Uh, and we finally found it today. So the bottle is gorgeous. It looks like a sunset. And the flavor is strawberry banana. Um, so do we want to start with this? Let's start with the drink. Okay. Uh, if you're curious, I have Cheshire Cat today, and Tiffany has Eeyore. Woo. I don't think the Cheshire Cat's been featured, so. It smells very banana-y. Uh, if you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of strawberry or banana, but I do like banana a little bit more than strawberry. I like banana. I like banana. Um, but it has to be, like... You know. What drink do you have for your palate cleanser? Oh, for my palate cleanser, I have the bubbly from like weeks ago. It's the tropical punch one. I've been drinking these slowly as I go throughout the month. And then I have my Propel grape. So, uh, <clears throat> have you yes. ever tried all the Propel flavors? There's a lot of those. I don't know if I did it for a video. I don't know. I know I kind of tried a lot of them mm -hmm. on my own, but I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to doing a video about it. It was like, it's Jeez. good. It's Propel. It's just water. Mm -hmm. Very banana-y. 
with a very, very small hint of strawberry. But that could just be me. I don't know how you are. But I don't get more. much flavor at all. It's just a little bit tart. It's very sweet. That's the one thing about primes I've noticed. Is that they're very sweet. You or me. I don't want it, but if you don't want it, I'll give it to Dad. No, I'll keep it. It doesn't really have much of a flavor, so that means it's not nasty. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Uh, out of five, I'd give it like a three. Same. Um, <clears throat> I definitely had better primes. Okay, so I am just going to reach into my pile randomly. That I think. works. So I'm just going to stare at you. And the first one we have is Twinkies. Now, where do you stand on Twinkies? Do you actually <coughs> like a Twinkie? I'm not going to lie. I haven't really had much experience with Twinkies. Oh. I've eaten, like, maybe a handful in my whole lifetime. But, like, they're fine. Mm -hmm. I have nothing against them. I'm more of a chocolate cake kind of person. So you're going to be interested in the Ding Dong. But, I mean, I'm not disgusted by a Twinkie. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you the last time I had a Twinkie. Neither can I. But it doesn't have much of a smell. Give me a Twinkie. It's kind of glazed. Is this what a Twinkie tastes like? <laughs> I don't taste anything. It's very, it, it is extremely faint. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like cow corn. I mean, even I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, it has a little bit of like a vanilla aftertaste, mm -hmm. but honestly, that's probably like a three and a half out of five. I think I'll give it a two. Mm -hmm. Fair. Oh, Oreo. That one is going to be one of the good ones, I think. The ones at Walmart ranged from like three fifty to three seventy five, give or take. They were all under four, and they are giant. So this is what it looks like. I like it. Yeah, that's good. We'll keep it. You got snack food for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. I'm just providing you snacks. And it mm -hmm. means that you get to use your little clips wherever they went to. They're all over the place. They go to. Some of them are on bags. Some of them the kittens have stole. Mm. You need more. I, I mean, here's the thing. is The flavor isn't necessarily strong. No. But I really like the drizzle that's on it. kind of mm. makes it cold, and I really like that. Hmm. Didn't think about that. Yeah. But yeah, no, that so far is probably going to be my four. Yeah. Honestly, the only one that I could see topping that is going to be probably the Reese's. But that's because I really like Reese's Cups. Even though I do have to be in the mood for actual Well, the Reese's, Reese's I feel like would have the most flavor because peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, let's, let's save that one because that got a high review. Yeah. Let's go for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Which now, I I love cinnamon, so I have high hopes. And if not, you're going to be sorely <clears throat> disappointed. Yeah. None, of these, none of these have really much of a smell, at least to me, but I'm ever so slightly Ooh. congested because of the yeah, No, it does have a cinnamon kick to it. Can't really smell much. This one looks a lot like, like caramel corn or like kettle corn. That's a very strong cinnamon toast. <laughs> Did they just dump a whole thing of cinnamon dust on it? <laughs> well, I still don't taste it. You don't taste. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I think so. That's gonna be a. Do, do you have any more of those tests? So, mm. uh, 4.5 for me. I'll give it a four on the pretense that it should be fine. Mm. Okay. Maybe I should have brought you two drinks. <sighs> All right. Um, 
ding dong. You know it goes through my head every time. Ding dong, the witch is dead? No, ding dong, keep it on, Belle. You know what's going through my head? What? Is, I don't know if you've heard it, but there's that creepy song that goes, it's like, ding dong, I know you can hear me. No. That's, that's the one that goes through my head. No, I got the ding dong, keep it on, Belle. <laughs> But also, whenever we had the Twinkies, I had the Be a Twinkie in a Ding Dong World song in my head. I don't think you want to be a Twinkie. It's alright. It's like three and a half. Chocolate? Mm hmm. Mm. I think the flavors just aren't very strong, in my opinion. Mm hmm. Let's take a break from the popcorn. Alright. Do the Cinnabon. I don't think we've ever had anything from the Cinnabon. I have. Oh. Like one time. Wow, look at you, fancy. So good. They're so cute. Oh my goodness, they're so small. Oh my goodness, look at them. About a four. I will say I like the popcorn more, but that could just be me. Oh, good. It's basically just cereal. <laughs> Do you have any milk you could use that with? No. No. We were literally just having a discussion whether or not you can have cereal yeah. without milk. This one is going to be fun. Stickers. There's, like, nothing in this bag. Oh, no. <clears throat> I don't even see any nuts. Which is what I was slightly concerned about, because normally I don't do nuts. There are some nuts, but they're very, very small. I don't know if they're very small. I should be all right. I like that one. I don't know what an actual Snickers is supposed to taste like because it's been over a decade since I've had a Snickers. Chocolate, caramel, and peanut. Ooh. This has that same, like, cold feeling. Mm -hmm. That's a strong four. Even for me, and I don't really eat Snickers. I don't like that one the most. Really? I got a four and a half. Hmm. Right. Just thinking next. I don't know how many we have left. We have two popcorns, the Kit Kat, and the pretzels. Let's do pretzel. Yeah. So these are by Pop Daddy. Pop Daddy pretzels. <laughs> Pop Daddy and a popcorn video makes sense. It says these are bold snacks made with big heart cinnamon sugar pretzel sticks. Hand seasoned in small batches, made with flavor so bold it's lip smacking, finger licking, goodness and crunch. Made in Michigan. Alright. Cool. Why not? <coughs> Wanna give it a shot? <laughs> How do they look? Like pretzels. That's a good sign. Literally, it's just a pretzel. I mean, pretty much anything with cinnamon is a good one. Can't go wrong with cinnamon. These are just overall good pretzels. Yeah. They're not super duper dry like pretzels usually mm. are. And they're also not super duper salty. No. Which, I mean, obviously, because they're meant to be kind of sugary mm. and cinnamony and sweeter. But, you know how usually pretzels have, like, really coarse, mm -hmm. tons of salt? I don't like that. I mean, they're really good. There is still a tiny bit of salt to them, mm -hmm. which I do like, too, but no. Nah. That's a good pretzel. Mm -hmm. And that came from the Dollar Tree, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Also, I don't know about you, but I really like this bag. It's, like, very sleek. Mm hmm No, we were only able... Uh, I... That was the only flavor. Yeah. And those pretzels, but I'd be down to try more of those if they had more. 
Oh, you're the one that zipped through the store. I was too busy dying in the heat. Yeah, I looked. <laughs> That's the only flavor that they had. I sent her into the store because I had to move the vehicle. It's not too far from the grocery outlet, bargain outlet, whatever it is. Yeah. All right, Robbie, the time has come. He doesn't watch these, but, no. you know, it's fine. <coughs> so his, his daughter has been asking for the channel information, and I'm just too awkward. So, uh, Hi, Rayleigh, if you ever get it. If you've ever found this, oh dear, why? Or who is it? Emma? Uh, Who's seen the videos? Or I, I think it was Maddie. I doubt she's subscribed still. I think that was my They're OG colorful. account. Oh, well, yeah, they are, aren't they? I just have that. It's just a glob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> they oh, my goodness. They smell just like the real deal. Surprisingly enough, that's the one I get the most flavor from. Hmm. It is kind of overpowering, but I'm going to put it at a 4.5. Oh, well, that one has a ton of fruity bubbles on it. <laughs> Dang it, Robbie, you're right. I love fruity pebbles, so I knew that one was going to be good. These are a five for sure, mm -hmm. by the way. I think um, I mean, I'll go I think I'll give these a 4.5. I think I'll, I agree with you on the pretzels. Those should be a five. I think they were originally a 4.5, but now those yeah. are real Pretzels good. are a 5. If we're just talking popcorn, the Fruity Pebbles is a 5 for me. But it's like a 4.9. <laughs> just under. It is. All right, let's go ahead and we'll do the Kit Kat, just so we can save Sarah's pride and joy for last. If that thing lets me down, I might go try in the corner. I mean, I'm not sure how popcorn and peanut butter can mess up, but... We'll see. I'm sure it'll find a way. Yeah. So it's definitely seen better days, but <laughs> like you said, it definitely is melted. Yeah. That's what I get for going to that store before we went to Walmart. It does look nice. Walmart's usually a behemoth. And then we went to see Robbie and we gabbed a little while. Just tastes like a Kit Kat. Yeah. Kit Kats are my favorite candy bar, so I am very pleased. I mean, it's good. It's just nothing special. Mm. I'll give it a three. It doesn't beat a classic Kit Kat, because there is a tiny bit of the cream from the Boston cream, but it's a solid four. <clears throat> Last one, Reese's Popcorns. A lot of these have been actually getting rated really high. That's very shocking for us. But um, it says Reese's Popcorn. How did we ever live without it? Fair. Sure, Sarah will be asking herself the same question. And then I'll go broke. I will be. <clears throat> But yeah, a lady was in the aisle when we were looking at them, and she actually pointed out the Reese's one, and Sarah was dying in the aisle. Only a little bit. Okay, so you really think you're going to like this a whole, whole lot? I hope so. You're going to give me a gigantic one, aren't you? <laughs> it's a size difference. Salty. Give bag. I'm gonna have to hide this from my mother. Well, here's what Aaron said. Honestly, it, I'll, between this and the cinnamon toast crunch, for what would be a five out of the popcorn. Mm -hmm. Reese's, I'm going to definitely stick with a five, but I might actually bump up the Cinnamon Toast Crunch to a five as well, because you can have more than one five. Mm -hmm. But I'm 
very pleased with that. The Fruity um, Pebbles is honestly kind of close to that as well. That's why it's 4.9. <laughs> and I, I think I'll follow you. Oh. I'll give the Reese's a 4.9. Oh. <laughs> the Fruity Pebbles and the Cinnamon Sugar Pretzels are a 5. Mm. Um, now, what was your least favorite? My least favorite was probably the Twinkies and or Ding Dongs. So my dad will end up with those. Don't worry. He'll probably take them to lunch with him. Oh my. <laughs> They're playing with a box. Um, yeah, I think for my least favorite, it'd probably be the Twinkies. Mm. Just because I, well, I think we're discovering I didn't really get a big flavor from any of them. But specifically that one, it was mostly just like a vanilla aftertaste. A lot of them were kind of light on the seasonings, but that's fine. But these... I'm going to eat these tonight, probably, during Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> that so. works. Those will be my TV show snacks for the night. I have um, Also, what do you think about the drink? I don't know if we talked about the drink. I gave it a three, mostly because it could be better, it could be worse. I think it could be stronger in flavor. I mean, that could just be me not being able to taste anything because of congestion. But the banana is overpowering. Yeah. There was only a very slight hint of strawberry, and it's supposed to be a combo, so I'd like a little bit more strawberry, even though I'm not a strawberry fan. Mm -hmm. But yeah. My babies. children are being cute. Well done. Hi, babies. We can at least see one. Oh, Toby just ran under the Aww. seat here. Bye. Bye. Oh, no.